We don't need regional servers. We need one big server, cause that would be cool. Yeah, I think that could be cool. I wanna play an American server. Mark my words. One big server is a big mistake. We don't need it. We need good regional servers. EU district, American district, Asian district. We don't need one big server. Cause that's just a recipe for chaos. On paper, everything's nice. I'm European. I have a friend from America. I wanna play with him. I go down, get the launcher from America, log on with my European account. Wait, I can't log in with my European account because, well, I'm from another region. I'm from Europe, he's from America. I need an American account. I need to play these tanks again that I didn't want to play. So, uh, I gotta maintain two accounts now. Let's just make one big regional server. That's a good idea, right? No. As I said before, one big regional server that involves all of the continents, all of the countries into one is just no it's a bad idea now i understand that this topic has been discussed before i'm looking at the topic right now but i'm gonna bring it up again just so you get the point that i'm gonna say so why is this such a bad idea one word clans and this is just the first reason clans in world of tanks i was a part of a clan a European clan, you know, we, we got some territories, we won some campaigns, um, nothing major, but we, we were competitive and we were pretty good. And when we played these clan wars, or guild wars, or faction wars, or whatever, we had a specific time that we had to log in to play a game. So we knew that at 8 p.m., that's in the evening, we had to be online, we had to be ready to fight with another European clan that also had to be ready I don't know maybe 7 o'clock 9 o'clock or 8 o'clock depends on their timeline if we make one big regional server and if we get in the match let's say from guys in Japan or America then our timeline differences are about 8 hours and one of the clans members are going to have to wake up at maybe 5 in the morning, 4 in the morning, 6 in the morning and the other ones would have to get up at, I don't know, maybe 6 uh, in the evening or something like that, but you get the idea um, well maybe you don't, but it's a bad idea because some people are just gonna have to stay up really late and some people are gonna have to get up really early just to play a computer game it does not make sense so that was the first reason I don't want to wake up at 5 in the morning just to play a bunch of Americans for a clan war. I'm not going to, no one's going to do that. It just, it's, it's stupid. The second reason. Let's bring up uh, Americans and Russians. Um, you know, these guys are hated at each other. You know, it's just the world. It, it's the internet. And there is going to be some fun making of Russians. Basically what's going to happen is there's going to be American douchebags that, well not all of them, but there's going to be some American douchebags that are just going to make fun of Russians all the goddamn time. And that's just going to fill up the chat and the chat is going to be like, hey Russia sucks, no America sucks. And that's going to be the same with the Russians going to the Americans. They're going to be like, oh America sucks, well, Russia's so better, we have this and this and that and that. and the chats are just going to be heated, they're not going to be nice, there's going to be a lot of conflicts for nothing. Absolutely nothing. I don't want to play in a place where there's just so many arguments. So, oh, we're better, we're, we're, I'm not going to comment on the political s state of uh, the world right now, but you get the point that there's just going to be a lot of pointless arguments about the ethnic groups of these people, of the players of you. Alright, so those were the two reasons why we shouldn't have a one big regional server because, well, I just explained to you. But, there's a solution. We have our regional servers and if I want to, I can play in other servers. That's gonna fix the problem, right? No. 
I can still go on a Russian server and say that they suck. I can still go on an American server and say they suck. I can go on the Japanese server and say Japanese suck. I could say I rule everyone else is bad. Nothing's gonna fix that. We need to have separate servers. Another thing about separate servers. I'm a European, I want to go to American server. Uh, let's look at this from the developer's side. They need to create a server that can support a player base. So if they know that there's gonna be 100,000 players in the American server, they're gonna play, make a server that can support 100,000 people. And suddenly, if, the, if there's gonna be 50,000 Europeans that say, hey, I wanna play an American server today. Then they're gonna go on to the American server and the server is going to be overflown. It's gonna overclock. It, it's gonna crash. The server will not support that many people because it's not built to make, to, you know, support that many people. And after the American server crashes, they're gonna go to the Europeans. And then the European server is going to crash. And then they're going to go to other servers. So, no. This is exactly why we need to have separate servers, separate regions, and we're not gonna be allowed to go on others. Everyone's bad-mouthing World of Tanks, but I think they did a good thing of not letting us go to other servers without registering. And I really, really hope that Armored Warfare will do the same. I hope that you guys agree. So let me know if you do agree. I'm gonna post a link to the forum. You can just write down in the comments right here. Have a discussion with me. Uh, I could really reply to you. If there's something like, aha, but you missed this, then just say it. Uh, I'm open to criticism. You just just say what's whatever whatever is on your mind. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.